61A, lecture number 21, announcements. 61A is an online course now, but in-person office hours still do exist. You can find them on the office hours tab, but most office hours have moved online. You can make appointments or join the online office hours queue here at oh.cs61a.org. There's no more live discussion, lecture, or lab until live instruction resumes at Cal sometime in the future. Project 3 is due on Thursday, which is tomorrow, but you can earn an early submission bonus point for completing it today. A great way to get help, in addition to online office hours, is to post on Piazza, where we have more coverage than ever before. Homework 5 is due next Tuesday. You can worry about it after you finish the ANTS project. And Midterm 2 will be held next Thursday, starting at 7, 10 p.m., though I recommend that you think of it as starting at 7, because we'll start releasing instructions then. This will be CS61A's first open interpreter, OpenCS61A.org exam, where you can actually use Python to check your work before submitting your answers. I've been wanting to do this for years in CS61A, and now I think we have a convenient opportunity to try something new. Since it is new, I'm reducing the point total, so this will not have as much of an effect on your final grade as a normal midterm 2 would. It will be out of 25 points instead of 50, and that means we're increasing the final exam from 75 points to 100. Details of the final exam will be determined once that date gets closer. This exam will not include environment diagrams or what would Python display problems, but the fill-in-the-blank problems from past exams are representative of the questions you will be asked. So if you want to get some practice, I would recommend trying those. You do not need to be on campus for this exam. You will need a computer capable of running Python 3 and the Zoom conferencing software. You will need an internet connection. And if you do not have those things, you can take the exam from Soda Hall 271 is one of the labs. We'll release a request form for alternate times, because I know some of you are returning to places in the world where 7 p.m. is, you know, 3 in the morning where you're from, and we can try to accommodate that. And some of you might not be available to take this exam at all, and so we'll have uh, an excuse request form published shortly that you can fill out to let us know if this exam time is in conflict with something else that's going on in your life. I hope you're doing okay in this difficult time. I know that uh, the virus concerns are stressful. The fact that everything's moving online is stressful. Hang in there. If you're running into trouble, just talk to your TA or send me a note. And we'll try to address any issues that you have. And I'm glad that everybody seems to be continuing to learn and continuing to participate in the course.